hello 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 and welcome to this video uh, in this video i want to show you how you or how i uh, uh, create a set of corrective shapes for this character uh, you can see she's currently got her arms out in t-pose and i've been watching seeing that this area here for ampit could see some improvements you know it looks it looks a bit undefined and yeah just kind of smooth and not really anatomical so i will do some stuff in here uh so let's just begin uh, what i'm going to do here the character is currently posed with the rig right so the actual the default pose is this i put the character out like this uh, grab the body duplicate it unparent it from the group and call it arm l out shape uh, let's delete the intermediate shape by going selecting the mesh and then down arrow left arrow or right arrow to see if there's any other shapes than the one shape that's visible now that's done um, it's just for a little bit of cleanliness it's not really that big of a deal but it will make your file size smaller if you delete unnecessary intermediate shapes okay uh, now we have everything prepared i'm gonna start some sculpting here very very basic noob sculpting just with my mouse uh, okay uh for me i think to better see stuff i'm gonna turn off texture mode and just start a little bit of smoothing here and then going in here a little bit that it's going to look a little bit ugly now a little bit splotchy but that's going to change in a little while okay let me grab a little bit here move this a bit more inside move this area in and up like this yeah, now it's starting to look like something a little bit of smoothing thrown in here now we cut in there a bit cut in here scut out there scut in here like here out here a little bit scut in here get a little bit of that this muscle here I kind of forgot its name no big deal like that so now we do a little bit of pinching bring the geometry here a bit closer together to get a sharper line Cut out here a bit more. Yeah, it's starting to look better now. Scut up, smooth, scut up. Scut in. Like that. A bit more here. with the grab tool Let's get this area in like that. Can go a bit 
out like here so that it looks like actually this whole mass is connecting oops so go to this Here, cool. Okay, and I'm gonna throw a little bit of smoothing on everything. How's this looking? Oh, not too bad. Maybe a bit more. Just a bit more work. I think it's gonna be better if this goes more like that. Guess we can smooth this. And I'll get that definition back on. There, I like sharp edges underneath the pec muscle when it goes into the arm. That is pretty hot. Good, good, good. So we don't have much topology to work here, but I think what we have is, is going to be alright. Good, alright. Am I happy with this? Well, I don't know, but it's going to be enough for now. I want to change it later, I always can. No biggie. Maybe I'm just going to give her a bit of a deeper armpit. More like that. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Now that this is done, let me just quickly save here. Now starts the fun part that I just found out a couple of days ago. Uh, Maya has now its own little Uh, so Maya now has this invert shape command which basically allows us to take any sculpted model that's a copy of the original skinned model and sort of like backwards engineer the vertex modifications that we did via the skin cluster matrices. So it's lots of fancy words for basically saying you can just sculpt your model in any pose, it'll duplicate, run this command and it'll output you a blend shape that you can plug into your skinned model to give you the exact result of your sculpt. So we're going to do that right now. Uh, this is the skinned model here. Let me just get this in here, run this, uh, this command. Boop. It gives us this little thing here. Uh, let's just quickly give it the Lambert material. Okay, we can hide that one. We can show back our skinned model. So this is our skinned model. Now we can hide that too. Gonna give it that name. And now we bring up the shape editor. Select this one. This was the result from that script thing. This is our blend shape, add selection as target. And you can see, let me just rename this. So it always adds the shape thing in there. And now you can see it gives me the exact shape that I sculpted there. Looking really nice. And now the cool thing is about this tool. I also really never used this tool up to a couple of days ago. It's kind of cool. You can just right click this thing here, say, uh, duplicate target. Uh, it's look 
this one here looks twice as big because now we have two of these. Uh, let's just rename this one to right, and now you just go right click here, flip target, boop, and there we go. And it just basically flip the target, and now we have the character, you know, having her arms out and looking nice and anatomical in here. Okay. Uh, the next thing real quick here is I can delete these two guys now I don't need them and I'll save here again uh, The next thing that we can do quickly is to connect these uh, Correctives back onto the rig. That's going to be quite simple for this system uh, We're gonna use uh, vectors and dot product to get a really stable Indicator for when this shape needs to trigger. So basically when the arm is out like this it's parallel to this bone's x, uh, y axis or inverse uh, y axis or against uh, this bone's x axis. Um, so, what I can do here is just compare these two vectors via dot product, output the result to it into this shape node. So, let's do it real quick. Open up the node editor, clear this thing out, add this bone and that bone into this thing. this so the node that we need here is a vector product there we go we're gonna need three of these two of them to get the vector products uh, the, the vector matrix thing for these bones uh, so basically to do that we set these two vector matrix products uh, in order to get the correct vector for the axis that we want, we need to put in the input one the axis that we want. So and this guy, this guy is going to be x-axis, so we put a one in the x. Uh, this guy is going to be the y, but the inverse, so it's going to be minus one in the y slot. Okay. This guy is going to already output there. All we need to do is connect the world matrix into matrix. That should be it. Looks fine. Now that's left is to grab the blend shape knot. Wait. Uh, th this guy, this guy, when you has when you have set it to dot product, and uh, the dot product is a single float value uh, that goes from minus one to one. Basically, if two vectors point. Um, opposite directions it's going to be minus one if they are parallel pointing in the same direction it's going to be one and if they are in a 90 degree angle any oops anywhere like around the circle it's going to be zero so in this case this is fine we can connect directly uh, any of these outputs going to be the same value to the left side uh, and now if i lower her arm down you can see how nicely the shape disappears and it comes back when the arm is up. Cool. Let's do the same quickly on the right side. We're gonna need the spine E and the this bone here. We're gonna need uh, two more of these. So arm, uh, what matrix, God, I hate this mouse. And then spine E, world matrix. There, let's see. So this arm, because it's a, a, mirror, a mirror thing, has got the X axis pointing up. So for this guy here, For this guy here, we want to put minus one. And for the spine joint, because now it's this direction, for the positive uh, y axis, we put one over here. We get another uh, result thingy. Put this there, this there. And then just output exit to there. 
pretty much done. Cool. And if I rotate the arms up, you can also see how the shape is slowly disappearing. Uh, and the cool thing about this, because it's a vector, it doesn't matter if like how the arm is rotated. So I can literally rotate her shoulder up and it'll also start to trigger the shape. And if the arm is rotated up too much, you can see the shape is gone. It's basically, well, it's still kind of a lot. Uh, I guess here you could you could do a little bit of uh, unit conversion, um, but this is not a big deal. We can do this in the game engine as well. This is just for the rig to visualize the target shape. So that's pretty much it. Okay, got that done. Character is looking good. Nice. Alright, uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye bye.